Hello everyone, this is Pritam Shaha and welcome to my YouTube channel Cognitive Coders. So today we'll see one another interview question from a reputed company which is Tiger Analytics. Okay, so in Tiger Analytics interview session, the technical interview session, what they have asked that we'll see today. Okay, so this question is given to me one of our subscriber okay so uh, he has given the interview okay uh, the first round uh, he got this question he told me so i just tried to solve this question uh, using my method only okay so if you have any different method please ping uh, in the uh, video comment section that uh, the different method okay so I will I will show you uh, two or three methods okay uh, two or three different methods also okay but if you have any different different kinds of method you can also ping in the uh, video comment box okay so let's go without wasting time so this is a question okay so they have given one list okay. So here it is where one data uh, one CSV file the data is in CSV file okay so there is one column is name and one column is job so name and job there are multiple jobs okay and uh, uh, the employees there are multiple employees for each and every job okay so we need to find out we need there and this is the banker we have more banker in this list okay film editor we have more film editor okay software engineer multiple software engineers are there in this list okay so this thing from this thing okay we have this data frame okay so we need to find out the headcount of employee in each job okay so each and every job how much employee is there so एक एक जॉब में कितना सारा एम्प्लॉई है वो हम लोगों को काउंट लेना है ठीक है ये तो सिंपल भी हम लोग कर सकते हैं ग्रुप बाई करके ओके वो मैं बाद में दिखा रहा हूं पर इन लोगों का एक पैटर्न है आउटपुट का दे हैव गिवन वन पैटर्न फॉर दिस आउटपुट सो दे नीड टू रिटर्न द आउटपुट दे नीड अस टू रिटर्न द आउटपुट ऑन दिस वे in dictionary okay so how we will do that so i'll try to solve by my method only okay so if you have any different method as i told you you can go ahead and do it and please uh, post it uh, in our comment box so that everybody can see and get learn of it okay so you uh, if uh, if you guys are new in this channel uh, i'm telling you you guys can go through our channel uh, they, I have uploaded lots of Python and database related videos okay there are real time scenarios also and uh, multiple interview questions Deloitte, Practel, uh, Accenture okay there are multiple interview take Mahindra multiple interview question okay so if you guys are if you if you guys are new in this data engineering field so I will I will recommend you go to PySpark and Databricks series there are 62 videos which is the basic level of PySpark and Databricks you plus please go through then you will get understand what is data engineering why PySpark is required in data engineering okay this thing you will get to understand clearly okay you don't need to go anywhere and all this video and uh, things are free okay you don't need to pay anything so without wasting time let's go to solve our problem today okay so first what we'll do so if we need to make this like a, a make this in a dictionary so we need to we need to convert it to a rdd okay so how to convert it in a rdd that i also so shown in this uh, video and i'll i'll put that video in the i button section okay so first i will uh, i'll do the rt
df.rtd.collect okay so so why i am doing a collect and all that i am not telling here okay so if you want to understand then please go and watch it here so i'm getting one error let me check so df okay okay i need to run it and to run it once more otherwise my session was disconnected and that's why the cluster watch was dis disconnected so that's why it is showing me like this so now i think i will not get so now the data is coming okay after that i'll run it once again now that is there now i'll pin and try to see the data format after converting to rdd okay now i'm getting the data like this all the data are there there are 2299 rows and here also 299 rows you will get in a, it a, the rows are in list okay list element format after converting it to rtd so as it is in list element format so now we can iterate it okay so first i will take one dictionary for storing the data like this okay so uh, i'll take i'll i can't take dict directly so i'll take it one okay so after that i need to take one list also so when list i'll take one list i can't take list only i need to take list one so first what we'll do we'll we'll take each and every employee's job okay we'll take each and every employee's job and we'll store it to list one okay so for that i need to, i need to iterate for i in df dot rdf underscore rtd it's a basic python thing if you know python then you can do it for i in rdd then what we'll do list one list one dot append we'll use append function for Mm, uh, for each and every employee's job for storing purpose in a list so that will get all the jobs in a list okay so uh, for that reason uh, what we'll do list one dot append i then we'll take the one index wala value because in zeroth index we'll get the name in one one index we'll get the job okay i think you understood if you want to see i can print it i can print it here in the list one for your understanding purpose okay you can see it all the jobs are getting stored in a list banker designer pilot blah 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 whatever it is okay now what we'll do will store the same thing in our dict uh, in our dictionary and will count each and every every job how much we have okay so then then only we will get all the hit count okay so in this way i i first uh, i will figure out the answer okay so for one thing i will um, use one loop i in list one okay if i uh, not in e dict one then only store the value then only store the value in dict one okay so 
dict then only store i need to store the value dict i will be one so then only uh, the job job will be uh, stored in the dict one dict one and uh, its value will be one okay and if the uh, job whatever job it is job is already already stored in the uh, dictionary uh, then what it will do the count will be increased by one so in the, uh, in this case dict uh, dict i will be increased by dict i uh, sorry 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 dict dict one i okay dict one i value plus one okay so now at the end you can print it print that tick one now you are getting the output like this if i will remove it from here or i can comment it okay so now you are getting the expected output Banker 31, teacher 24. So, what was their expected output? The hit count. So, as a banker, there, there are 31 employees are working, uh, 29 designers are there, 15 pilots are there, teach, 24 teachers are there. Okay, this way you can uh, figure out this problem, problem solution. Okay, so uh, if, 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 they, if they want the the thing uh, in data frame format only then what we need to do uh, we need to, uh, we need to do then final i am storing it in final df okay we need to do, do just uh, group by operation df dot group by where i need to perform the group by i need to perform the group by on this column job column only okay job column then dot count so it will count based on the uh, each and every job okay so now um, how much column is there for each and every job they that that will count count okay so then that will be our head count only then uh, what i need to print i need to print the final sorry not print uh, i need to show you show or display function so this group by operation also i have shown in my in my this playlist only this playlist only pipe park and database you can go and watch it brief details i have uh, to i told there okay you go and you can understand the thing if you have any doubt you can ping me on my linkedin account or you can connect uh, to my top mate uh, yeah. okay connect to top mate also there there will be no charge to, for connecting with me i i am not getting any any uh, any amount uh, for taking any kind of session from me okay so you can connect to linkedin also don't uh, uh, every link is given in this video description you can go through it okay so this is the list so one another way we can find out this thing okay so that i that i will show you so earlier we have got this data like this no? so using this dictionary only you can find out the data in another structure only uh, so i'm taking tick one list okay first i will store this uh, whole dictionary in a list okay so 
dip one this dot happen uh dip one okay so now what i will do it's a json list then now i will create one data print uh dip one dip. i'll call it now park dot d park dot d dot json then what we will do then i will use the spark context here spark context dot parallelize okay so parallelize then we will pass this bit one dot uh, underscore list then we can print it bit one underscore df dot string okay We can also return the output like this only. So each and every uh, every job will be in our uh, in our column value, and then the count. Okay. So this is the thing. I think you have understood the concept. So here, what I am doing basically, basically I am putting all whole whole JSON whole dictionary. In a uh, list, so then, uh, so that uh, as a dictic, uh, uh, as a JSON dict format, we can read for read read any kind of JSON. It should be in a list. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, uh, what I am doing here, so I am uh, using the Spark context, I'm parallelizing the data, and after that, I uh, I'm creating the data frame. Okay. So then the read JSON. So this is this is the funda. Uh, the how to read the JSON and all I have already explained in my Python for database playlist. This playlist you can go and watch the G in in real time scenario. Also I have told this funda how to do it and uh, like I have explained the whole thing. You can go through it. Okay. So I think you have understood the concept. If you have any kinds of doubt, you can uh, comment on the video comment section. So uh, I I will try to reach you. Uh, I try to guide you in every, each and every uh, time. Okay, so uh, if you like our video, please uh, do like uh, and share our video with your friends and colleagues so that they will get the benefit. Okay, and please support us, support our cognitive coders channel. Please do, do subscribe our channel so that uh, we can reach each and every needy person who wants to learn, who need to learn the data engineering thing the pipe park the data bricks thing okay so thank you for watching our video please support us stay with us uh, we are continuously uploading this kind of important videos for interview purpose uh, thank you for watching this video bye